we all had different experiences this week, and they even told us that going into it, we're, we're all going to take different things from it. And um, for me, it was, it was very hard emotionally just to see, um, see them have nothing, and they were completely happy and fine with nothing. They had their family, their community, and Jesus, and that's all that they need. And one of the things that we did, it was my favorite thing, it was called Faith Walk. And what it was is we would have a group of people, and Big Man uh, would lead us on that. And we would basically walk the streets and um, go to people's houses door to door and just talk with them. We would see people just walking on the street. We would sit and talk with them. And um, with it being the beginning of the new year, we would ask them, you know, what's something you want us to pray for over you this year? Um, what are some New Year's resolutions you have? You know, what's going on? And um, there were a majority of them that said the only thing they wanted prayers for was healing or strength. And um, we actually, there was this one man, I wrote his name down. His name was Bernal. It was him and his wife, uh, Norma, that we visited their house. And um, this man, Vernal, he had diabetes, and he started to lose circulation in his legs. And you could just see his leg just falling apart, um, basically. And, and um, his wife had high blood pressure. And so they couldn't get up and walk anywhere. They're, the way their houses are are on these hills and mountains, so it's a struggle for even us to get up to these houses. And so um, they couldn't go basically anywhere. And they, the only thing they prayed for was healing for his diabetes and for her healing for high blood pressure. And for us here, if any of us have high blood pressure or anything, we can just easily have access to medi medication. And, um, and that's all that they asked for. And um, there, was, there was another man that we ran into. His name was Sam. And he was 16 years old. And... Um, he started this this business, and he had his shack going, and he started to cook breakfast, and he wanted to build his own business. So here he is, 16 years old, um, you know, barely any education, and he was just wanting to start his business. So the only thing he wanted us to pray for was that he would have a successful business at 16 years old. And um, so we, we saw about... 12 or 13 people just on Tuesday. Um, we all went at different days, and then on Friday we saw about six people. Um, but there was um, another lady. They're, they're very creative there. And there was another lady we ran into, and her name was Carrie Ann. Um, she was a single mom that was a caretaker. And she, whenever we came up to her house, she had this, like, long... Um, I don't know if you call it driveway or what before her house, and she was just out there just sweeping, and she had made a broom with literally just a stick and limbs and leaves and was just sweeping away outside. So they're very creative and just use the resources that they have. Um, but um, it made me come back home and question the way that I prayed and what I asked for because... Um, just their prayers were very, um, just in comparison of what they wanted prayers for and what it, I wanted prayers for, it just really hit home on, um, on how I should pray. And um, I think that's all I have to say.